Hello everybody, welcome back. The Alpha 3.0 update was given to the Evocati testers on Thursday, October 5th, a little more than a week ago, and we can already hear great news from the developers regarding improvements and the progress of the overall process. Both groups, the Evocati testers and the developers, are working closely together in order to find bugs, to find issues, and fix them as soon as possible in order to provide us with a better and smoother experience. The real star, though, of the whole process seems to be the Delta Patcher, a feature that we have been waiting for quite a while to come to the game. And as it seems, as we can hear from the developers, it is even better than we were expecting it to be. The Delta Patcher is giving the ability to CAG to the developers to release patches, new updates a lot faster and a lot easier, simply because it allows to download only what has changed. This is going to be an extremely useful tool for the community because it means no more 30 gigabytes download every time there is a new patch, but it is also a very useful tool right now for the Evocati testers and the effort the developers make in order to provide us with a smoother and better experience. By using the Delta Patcher now, the Evocati testers have the ability to download small patches, small updates to the latest Evocati build and we have heard reports of 30 seconds up to 5 minutes maximum required to download these patches. This is making the whole process a lot easier, a lot faster and it brings us closer to a wide PTU first and a live release of the Alpha 3.0 update later. The Delta Patcher not only allows developers to push out updates a lot faster, but also gives them the ability to downgrade easily patches to roll back if an unexpected issue arises. Something that really helps the effort of the developers and give the opportunity to the EvoCAD testers to test as fast as possible new issues, new bugs, and help the developers deal with them. Thanks to this new system, we have daily Evocati 3.0 builds given to the testers and the developers are fixing the new issues that appear almost daily as well, as fast as possible. This is a great step forward and it will help us get the Alpha 3.0 very fast for a bigger number of backers and eventually for the whole player base. As we all know by now, the burn down process continues and it was not over with the release of the Alpha 3.0 update to the Evocati testers. The focus of this new burn down phase, this new burn down cycle, is the shopping experience and there were 23 mass fix issues by the time burn down was being filmed. So we still have 23 mass fix issues, the number might be higher or lower by now, something that we will only learn next Thursday with the new burn down until the developers can ask the Evocati testers to focus on the shopping and general cargo experience. Overall, it seems that we have a very good progress, there are improvements on the whole process and the developers are dealing with bugs as fast as possible, bugs that the Evocati testers help them to discover and we have an influx of new bugs almost daily. Thanks to the Evocati, something that is speeding up the whole process and is getting us closer to the Alpha 3.0 update. On some other news that have to do with this year's CitizenCon, we were informed that Squadron 42 will not be shown during that CitizenCon, but will be the focus of the holiday livestream in December, where we will see some gameplay and CAG will share the roadmap for its completion. Hopefully we will also get a release date, something that will not happen this year, since the date 2017 has already been removed from the RSI site, and hopefully it will be released sometime next year 2018. The focus of this year's CitizenCon is going to be the Alpha 3.0 and beyond what will come in the Persistent Universe for all of us. And to be totally honest, I am really excited to see what Chris Roberts has in store for us. Last but definitely not least, let's take a look at the feature that Around the Verse has focused on this week, which was the cockpit experience and in general the efforts of the developers in order to make that experience as visceral as possible to make it feel special. To achieve this, certain changes had to happen in the cockpit inside our beloved vessels, the vessels that we love using the most, including the addition of G-forces, some that we had in the game for quite a while, body motion when getting hit, reactions when dogfighting, any general effects that will help us understand better 
what is going on with our vessel, what is going on around us and make the whole experience a lot better. These effects include air decompression, smoke, flames, but nothing extreme unless we are in big trouble. Also lighting changing, something that uh, we have seen in multi-crew, big multi-crew vessels and we are getting for the first time in single seat ships. The light inside the cockpit will change depending on the status of the ship, depending on the damage that we have received. The improvement of the cockpit experience is going to be an ongoing progress that will continue even after the release of the Alpha 3.0 update. And first, the developers are going to focus on vessels like the Gladius that share a specific type of cockpit, that have a specific cockpit layout, the HOTA CL ships, which include the Gladius, Buccaneer, Herald, Cutlass, Sabre and Vanguard. To make these improvements a reality, the developers had to change the position of the pilot's seat, the throttle and joystick, but also the place on the front weapon, something that many members of the community don't really like, and to be totally honest, we will have to see it in-game before we can judge it properly. The new item 2.0 system, the new interaction system, obviously plays a big role in the new cockpit experience, since it will be possible for a player to only use buttons, in front of him in order to fly to get ready to fly at least his vessel but no matter what method you will be using if you are using the 2.0 the item 2.0 method or simply using shortcut keys there will be a physical reaction every time you give an order this is a great attention to detail and definitely something that will make the whole experience a lot more realistic the position of the screens is also very important, right now it is kind of difficult to get info from these screens but with the new update and the new improved cockpit experience the UI screens will be consistent, it will be easy to read info from them without having to zoom in since they will not only be bigger but they will be closer to the pilot, to the player will be more matte and angled slightly in to avoid reflections the combat visor interface is also coming back and it will be possible to move info from the support screens up to those if we really want. One of the best changes in my opinion is going to be the effects that will notify the pilot that is getting hit. There will be animations to give feedback on impact depending on the damage received but also based on the direction of the hit, something that will make our life a lot easier, something that will let us know exactly from where we are getting hit. All these changes are going to provide us with a much better experience and make piloting our vessels a lot more enjoyable. This is everything I want to share with you today. The Evocati testing is progressing very well from what we hear from the developers and hopefully we will see a wide PTU for the Alpha 3.0 update really really soon. Maybe even during the CitizenCon event. I was really happy to hear also that this year's holiday live stream will focus on Squadron 42. We will have to wait a bit more, we will have to wait a bit longer, and we will not see Squadron 42 during this Citizen Con, but at least we now know when to expect to see something from this very important aspect of Star Citizen. I would love to hear your opinion about the latest news and of course about Squadron 42. How do you feel about the removal of the release date of 2017 from the RSI side? And if you think we are going to see it next year, sometime next year. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.